so today I'm going to talk about one of the most important topic which is becoming viral and very important that is demand for new separate state once again I repeat demand for new separate state after the Telangana from the Hyderabad then why not a borderland from the Assam then why not borderland from the Assam in order to protect our identity language and culture etc the article 3 of the Indian Constitution provides for the creation of new state through a bill tabled in Parliament on the President recommendation after the Constitution with the legislation legislation affected state for example in the history or we have heard or learned Jharkhand, Chhattisgarh and Uttarakhand were created or received their statehood in 2000 on the basis of their socio-political that is socio-political basis in the same way today the borders are we the borders also demanding the statehood from the time inception in the year 1930s the voters have submitted their memorandum to the Simon Commission from the year 1931 itself had submitted their memorandum to the Simon Commission but it's very unfortunate they have not received any signal nor from the British government or from the Indian government nor from the British nor from the Indian government in 1947 pass in the 1947 itself the demand for the Gurkha land also exists from the time 1947 itself the demand for the Gurkha land also exists in the same way the demand for the borderland in the year 1971 Bangladesh got separated from the East Pakistan yes the Bangladesh got separated from the East Pakistan East Pakistan And this separated has created lot of 
problems to the Indian territory, especially in Assam. In the 20th century, in the 20th century, they had to tackle a series of issues such as illegal migration, such as illegal migrations, encroachment of their land, encroachment of their land, force assimilation, force assimilation, loss of language and culture, loss of language and culture, etc. In the same way, the constant immigration from the East Pakistan that is Bangladesh to Assam and this illegal immigration has changed the demographic structure of the Assam. The illegal immigration from the East Pakistan Bangladesh has changed the demographic with regard to population in Assam. And it has a very great bad impact for the Assam as well as for the Bodos. Bodos. In which we have to face a serious tackles of problems. in lagging behind in our own education and with regard to the employment create a serious problems to us with regard to the education and employment In the year 1980, in the year 1980, with the initiative of the Upendra Nath Brahma, with the initiative of the Bodo leader Upendra Nath Brahma, the old Bodo Student Union which is known as APSU, A-B-S-U, lead their massive movement to the boiling point. Re lead their massive movement to the boiling point. And he is also known as our father, the father of Bodofa, Bodofa. A group of all Bodo student union that is APSU ABSU along with the political organization named Bodo People Action Committee B P A C The movement lead till the 19. This movement has been continuing till 
In the same way, in the year 2003, I repeat once again, in the year 2003, Center called for a meeting. Center called for a meeting with with Prime Minister of India in that time the Prime Minister of India is Sri Atal Bihari Bhaspe along with the Assam State Government Central Government and along with the Boros Liberation Tiger that is the ethnic groups in those times Boro Liberation Tiger which is also known as BLT on the recommendation on the basis of 40 policy areas 40 policies areas under four districts of Assam and that is number Kokrachar, second is Baksa, third is Odalguri, and fourth is the Chirang. I repeat once again Kokrachar, Baksa, Chirang, and Odalguri. My question to you all is that. Welcome to all, all of you. Let's come and visit and see the real image of the borderland. I repeat once again. My question to you all is that, welcome to all, all of you. Let's come and have a visit to the borderland and see the real image or picture of the deprived. Let me ask you a question to you all. In which they did not deprive us? In which they did not deprive us? in our identity, in our language, or in our culture. We have been depriving since the time with regard in our identity, language, and culture, etc. So, I want to ask question to you all is that where is the existence, existence of equality and democracy in India then? Where is the existence of equality and democracy in Indian constitution then if we have been depriving Is this only in the written form? Is this only in the written form? So in demanding new state, 
the inspiration the inspiration of demanding new state may vary from various ethnic groups the demanding in their statehood may vary vary in their inspiration according to their ethnic groups but the question is that we have to focus we have to focus on the particular inspiration to the particular inspiration and which is supreme and greater in their part of movement which is supreme and greater in their part of movement and I personally believe that the Constitution of India's guarantee to to live a life in peace and harmony in their diversity of language culture identity i repeat one second the constitution of the indians guarantee each and every one of us to live in a peace and harmony in their diversity in their language in their culture in their identity my question to you all is that is this happening in our society is this happening in our society then why we are raising our voice then why we are raising our voice so let me give you some example or clue with regard to the deep with regard to the privation in the year 2000 under the each schedule the Bodo's language has been entitled for the first time in Seba, that is the Assam Educational State Board. In year 2000, under each schedule, the Bodo language has been entitled for the first time in Seba. Seba is the Assam State Board Education. And secondly, with regard to the awesome radio station allowing only the 45 minutes for the Bodo community. I repeat, the awesome radio station only allowing us 45 minutes. 45 minutes thirdly in spite of requesting 100 and thousands to the national Dudorshan television channel in spite of requesting hundred and thousand to the national Dudorshan channel till now we have not 
receive any signal. I I on the basis of the deprivation let me ask you the question then if the condition is in that way then where is the equal platform for survival to us where is the equal platform for survival to us to live with our own identity with our own dignity with our own language with our own culture where is the equal platform in the country of republic and democracy in the country of republic and democracy with a multilingual and a multicultural with a multilingual and a multicultural to live a life in a peace and harmony in the society to live a life in a peace and a harmony in the society so once again I repeat last not the least to the government of Assam and to the government of India the demand of the Bordeaux for a separate state movement will continue till it till the receive of new statehood which is our heart and our soul that is the bordeling bordeling so thank you all